everyone, it's Naomi here with a little black bag unboxing. I'm going to separate this all out um, because there's just too much stuff because I got several boxes delivered all at once. So this first video is going to be just all the different handbags I got and I did um, take them out of their packages already so I could look them over and um, give a fair review on them just so I know um, any issues or anything with the bags ahead of time so I could go over it with you. Um, the first bag is this Ivanka Trump bag and it's it's not my favorite bag by Ivanka Trump. Uh, in, the, in the photo it looks a lot more structured and as you can see it's not at all structured. I mean it does hold its shape enough to stand it up but I don't know, I wish that it had some feet and it was a little harder here. It, it looked a lot more patent leather in the photo also, and it's a little bit more on the matte side. It almost looks like it's rope or something, it, even though it's not, but it doesn't look quite like the picture, unfortunately. It's a good size. Um, you know, it sits good. I don't know if I would wear it with this. First of all, because these don't really fold down. And it just would be kind of silly looking, I think, with those just kind of poking out everywhere. But um, inside, there is a zipper that has a decent pocket there. And then in the front, there's actually a little um, pouch there that you could slip a cell phone into or some sunglasses. And then you've got your Wonka Trump uh, emblem there. Then you also have a center zipper that you can also put things in. And this is very deep, just as deep as the back. So you have plenty of room in there. On the other side, you also have your two standard pockets for um, to throw items into. They're smaller, so I would say more for like, you know, lip glosses or something like that. But you do have two separate sides to put things in, which is nice that it separates it all out. It's still a beautiful bag. I like it. Um, it just isn't quite what it looked like um, in the pictures, but still pretty. It just, it does have like more of a plasticky feel. I will warn you of that. And I have other Ivanka Trump bags and they don't quite have this feel. So a little disappointed with this. The retail value on this one was $175. The next one is another Ivanka Trump. This one I love. This is, um, and I don't know, it's the Cynthia. Enter. And it has this um, like cutout detail. And then behind the cutout is the gold. So it's just really pretty in how it looks. You have the two little hand satchels, satchels, the little hand straps. And these I noticed do get a little tangled though. So it could be a little annoying at times. You can see like this one right here. And you just have to kind of turn it a little and work it out the little kink, but still it's a little annoying. But um, really beautiful bag though. I love it. It's not too big and not too small. Inside you have the two separate areas like the other bag. And then you also have a center area. And that has another zipper inside there where you can store some things in that one. And then you've got your two separate ones on this side. They also did give you a um, dust bag. The other one did too. Um, Overall, this is a great bag. I really like it a lot. It's not leather, but um, doesn't really matter to me. Not for what I'll use it for. It'll be more for like date nights and stuff like that. Not used like every single day, but um, just a gorgeous bag. And I can't say enough about this one. This one retailed for $150. And there's still book some of both of these bags on there. The next one is the Houndstooth. Um, 
it's like a clutch, but it does come with a nice long strap. But this was a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, you can kind of just see the size in comparison. It's a, it's pretty large. It's like the longer than the length of, you know, that would be the elbow and that's the hand. So that gives you an idea of the length. I thought it was going to be much more petite, um, but it is really pretty. It's not a super high quality feeling purse, but it's, it's so pretty though. And I just like the details of the hound's tooth. I like this little bow accent here. And then inside you have your one little pocket to kind of separate a few things. And then you also just have your base in there, but lots of room because it's such a large bag. It is not finished on the other side also, so you know. The chain is detachable, so if you wanted to just carry it as a clutch, you could, or you can carry it as a purse, whichever you would decide. I mean, overall, I'll, I don't remember what this costs. Let's see if there is a retail on it. No um, retail. It's by Viet Vita. But just a fun little bag. I have a lot of pounds to stuff, so I plan to wear it with with those type of items. Just a cute, trendy bag. The next one is um, Por La Victoria, I think is how you say it. Now this was very deceiving in the picture. As you can see, my hand is actually bigger than the bag is. Very small, but it is really cute. The chain is very high quality, very nice chain, and it's detachable. So that's kind of nice that you can use it maybe on other purses too. But it's a really nice um, chain detail on it. It has this little fake type of thing where it looks like it almost detaches, but it doesn't, it just kind of opens up. And then you can see, very small. Um, they do give you a dust cover for it. But um, there's, I don't even think there's anything in it. But there is two places where you could maybe fit some uh, credit cards in or your driver's license. But other than that, this is a cute little like tourist bag if you're going somewhere and you just want something small to carry like just a few items, um, sightseeing type things like that. Or you just want a cute little petite um, purse if you're wearing like a little dress or something like that but I mean it's really cute but it's not $245 cute which I believe was the uh, yeah $245 was the retail on it I'm not sure hopefully it was quite a bit less um, but I mean I like it a lot it's gonna it's going to get used a lot I just thought it was gonna be a little bit more the size of I have a crossbody by Gucci that's similar to this and I thought it was going to be closer to that size but um, it also says it's coffee I don't think that's coffee I think that's more caramel than coffee coffee I think is dark in my opinion um, excuse me I'm trying to deal with a cold um, the next item here is the Charlotte Ronson crossbody and it's the blue and black one and the retail was $198 on that. Um, it has this cute little detail in the front, but it does not um, actually isn't in use, which is nice when you want to just get in and out. Inside, it's um, got a really pretty, um, it's the uh, C&R design in it, but a beige color. You've got your emblem on this side, you have a nice um, size clear pocket in the very back, and it's kind of hard for me to show you here, but it's actually clear. And then you actually have two separated areas, which is nice for a small bag. You can still, you know, get a lot of stuff going in here, and, and this just kind of keeps it tidy for you. Uh, this one is, it does have an adjustable strap, so you can make it um, longer if you need to and the strap adjustments go all the way to this point so you can still get 
about another four to five inches out of the bag in length. And it sits right at, right at the belly button is the top portion of it on me. But it's a really cute bag. I didn't have any blue bags. Well, I take it back. I had some blue ones, but not in this dark, rich blue. And I just think that one's really pretty. Um, last but not least is the uh, Folly and Corinne. This was, I don't remember, but it's the metallic gold one on there. And I believe they still have this one in stock. You can see the little like screw details on it. On the back, it has a great little zipper here. If you wanna keep some uh, keys in there or something where you can just throw it in the back and find it really easily. It's got a nice long detachable. Um, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Strap. So you can use it as a clutch if you chose to also. Uh, there's a nice little emblem on the detachable um, strap also. There's a little leather uh, strap for the zipper. And inside you have your one um, pocket over here, which is decent size. You have your dust bag. And then on this side, they have two uh, pockets, but they're very deep and nice. I like that they're they're really deep and they actually come out quite a bit. So you can actually use this for more than just like a cell phone or sunglasses since it's a little deeper and a little bigger. But that is the last of the bags. I'm gonna try to do one more video today of the scarves and I'll probably save the jewelry for tomorrow just because I'm feeling a little under the weather. Um, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye.